Welcome back! We are here at level 46 of Chip 56, called Gallimoffrey, and uh, before we start this level off, I want to show you something. In case you were wondering what my time on the previous level was, here we go. Minus 232. That was what my time would be if this had a time limit, although if it had a time limit, then I would have run out of time, I guess, but yeah, I spent way too much time on the last level, so I'm going to try to make it up for you guys this time and complete a lot of stuff in this session. Hopefully there will be a lot more done. Starting with this level, let's see what we have to do here. We got some blocks, and that looks pretty interesting. Teeth, from which we have to snatch some chips, so let's be careful. There we go, that worked. Okay, this this looks interesting, I like this. I like that, it, It's I like how you can trap the teeth on either of these corners here, That's that's pretty cool. Wait, is there an entrance? Yeah, here we go. And there's a bunch of blocks here, but I can't get them out, so let's try... Yeah, there's chips under them. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to be careful not to push them into any corners or anything like that. Well, push them into corners only after I'm... Uh, done getting chips underneath them. I don't want to push them such that they'll block another one. Okay, so that room... Did I get that last one? I think I did. Yep. Okay. I think we're done with that room. So let's go over here. There's a door we can't get into. There's walkers in there. There's some sort of force uh, path here. Okay. Uh, there's a glider toggling some buttons. I don't want to mess with anything yet. Okay, so I guess we have to keep the glider on there because I don't think there's anything else. Let me check the other side. I don't think there's any other way we can uh, toggle the walls. Yeah, I don't see how a monster can get in there. So don't disturb the glider. Okay, and we need to blow up a bomb. Interesting. Okay, let me just go get all this stuff. Let me push that in. That can't hurt. And I think there was one over here we could do that with, too, right? Okay, I'm guessing we have to get a block into each of these. Okay, that should allow for all three of them to get re uh, retrieved. And what's down here? We haven't looked at this yet. Okay, so I'm going to need to get some blocks down here. I'll need one, two... And then one up there, three, four, the one to my right, and then five, the one to my right there. So we need five blocks for this room. Okay. I'll need to go through that again. Interesting level, I gotta say. One thing that um, I should mention here is that Gallimoffrey is actually the title uh, that I was going to be using for one of my levels, um, which would later be called Start at the End. And it's in my set JBLP1, so definitely check that out. It's it's pretty cool. So let's see, how many do we need here? We can get we can get all the way here without having to put anything in the water. So one, two. I guess we just need three. We don't really need to take anything else here, do we? So three blocks there, five blocks in this room. We need at least two in the glider thing, which makes ten. And then the bomb is 11. Is there anything over here? Well, let's just go and get this. I, I'm trying to get to the room of the walkers, because if it involves dodging, I want to do it right away. Here we go. Okay. I like the way this is laid out. It's not too bad. Okay, I'm saying that, but right now there's walkers everywhere. There we go. Enemies everywhere! Okay, so that should be good. I think we got 11, because we got... Didn't we have 8 here? Yeah, we got 8 here, and we have the 3 over there. Okay, I think we got this. I'm going to go and take care of the glider stuff first. I think we can... If I remember right, we can push... Yeah, we can push these here. 
and then yeah okay let's try that okay we have to go through that okay so let me get one more and we'll have to push it through this slide I like this level this this is pretty cool and again I I, I think it would a uh, longer time limit or maybe an untimed level would have been better but overall it's not too uh, it's not too tedious I mean there are blocks to go that can go everywhere and I think I went too far yeah I did let me just use this on the bomb we can get that out of the way let me get this one over there too Also, I like the idea of not interrupting a monster. Like, I think that's a cool concept. Let me wait for you to pass. There we go. Cool. Okay, I think we took care of everything. And I don't think we should be pressing those... Or pushing those blocks into the uh, the water. I, I don't see how we can do that and expect the glider to keep on going. Because if we push that one in the water, then it'll come out here. And we want him to stay in the room. And if we make dirt, then he'll just go into the bomb. And we don't want that either. So that's all the blocks there, so now I gotta get these out of here, which could be interesting. I don't think it's that bad though, because we can just... Okay, that's not exactly how I intended to do it, but thanks to uh, the uh, some slide delay there, I suppose it's slide delay. Alright, so let's get the, another one out. I like the fact that you can just push them from the... Uh, uh, the outside, the outer ring, and then you can, they will automatically go back out to the outer ring. Like that, that's a nice touch. <laughs> there I go again doing that. I can't really get my timing right such that it can be pushed right. Okay, so this one I'm going to push here so that we can continue with the path there. I'm going to try to play this one smart. Okay. There we go. This is also a nice opportunity to teach how to uh, push a block along a certain prescribed path uh, without making a mistake. And it's not exactly uh, that hard to figure out either. So a nice one block Sokoban type puzzles here. I, I really like that. Okay, so I need this one here and then I need one more. I guess, yeah, either way I would have had, I could, I guess I could have filled this one, but I, th I think either way I would have had to have gone here, so it wouldn't have mattered, it would be either this square or the one to my left. At least they, uh, Henry had given us a choice there, that, that's nice, I, I really, I really appreciate the, the, uh, the choice instead of having it be super rigid. <laughs> there I go again doing that. Actually, that, that helps because I can just push it straight to the right, so that's nice. Okay, so that should take care of all the chips in this room. Um, let me go ahead and just go up here because I, I would like to get the chips from these walkers. If it involves walkers, I want to do it sooner rather than later. Thankfully, that's not too bad. So we got three left and they're all in the upper area. And I think, was it this slide that led up there? Yes, okay, good. So this slide leads up there. Good stuff. So yeah, great level. I, I really like this a lot. It kind of reminds me, sort of reminds me of, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, you gotta be kidding, right? Please tell me there's a way to extract that. Oh good, I can go over here, right? I can do this. Oh good. <laughs> I was so used to pushing in that room, I completely forgot. Oh wow. Thank you for putting that in there, Henry. I appreciate that. That's a nice save. I was going to say, what, what I was going to say was, this level reminds me of Road Sign from the original game. Like, you have to push blocks along this uh, one-block Sokoban sort of puzzle path. That's a weird way to call it, but so... 
you have to push blocks one at a time, and I, I think that's that's a really neat concept. Okay, let's not make that silly mistake again. Of course, I could have just blasted right to the right there, so I don't know. I'm, I'm still used to doing it the old way. As the clock is ticking down, I'm beginning to uh, uh, consider more what I said earlier about maybe increasing the time limit a bit, or maybe making it untimed. Because this is, is a bit tight, especially if uh, somebody has to figure this all out for the first time. Okay. So let's just blast to the right. There we go. So this should be the last block, and after this one, then uh, we should be done. Uh, hopefully there won't be any weird splashes like in blue block. I don't think I'll ever live that down, by the way. And we're out of here. Yay, that was a fun level. I, I really liked it. <laughs> now we just got to wait for the glider to do his job, and we're done. All right, block secret is the next level. Another level with blocks. All right. We got some thieves here. Does that mean that there are boots that we have to collect? I'm just going to explore for a while. Okay. I don't see anything that would require a boot. Okay, we're going to have to step on the thieves in order to get the blocks into the bombs, so... Yeah, I don't see any I don't see any boots or, or like elements around here. So I'm guessing Yeah, I'm guessing that the thieves are just there as spaces that the blocks can't go across. So is the objective here to figure out which blocks go to which bombs? Is that how it works? So what's the secret? I'm curious. Cuz what I'm looking at here is that there might be only one possibility for each block. Like this, I'm tempted to push it to the left, but what if there's another block that should go there, and there's no way to get a block over to this one? See, that's that's what I'm talking about. This this could be really interesting, but I suppose the only way to, to find out is just to try, so let's just go ahead and go. Still wondering about what this mysterious secret is. I guess this has to go here... Okay, um... Ah, okay, see this? Wait, no, both of them can be pushed to the right, okay. I was wondering if, see, I'm, I'm just looking out for these situations, like, in blue block, there was that one room where, uh, there's one block that had to go somewhere, like, there's three blocks, and one of them absolutely had to go in a certain space. See, I'm just worried about things like that, it, it's just kind of a little bit of a concern. This one... Can I, I don't think I can even do anything with that, no. So I'm going to have to push this over here. Oh, wait a minute. No, I... Uh-oh. Oh, I see how this works. So we have to get this bomb blown up first. Okay, interesting. I'm still waiting for some really clever twist here that's going to change the whole level. I, I'm kind of expecting some sort of CCLP3-esque twist. Also, are there extra chips in here? That thief sound is kind of funny. Um, I don't see any extra chips. Am I just... Maybe there are, I don't know. I... Hmm. See, now, the, all the blocks are down here, and I'm going to have to figure out how to get some up. And where does this go? Still, I, I'm, I'm pondering that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this one to destroy the bomb up there. I suppose we can maneuver them through the maze any way we want. Because there doesn't seem to be many restrictions on that, so I don't really see a problem. Hmm... So let me get you over there, and let's get you up here. Also, I, I, I've noticed that there are blocks that you can't use, like the, that one down there, but there's also some that are pushed into corners and stuff, so... I don't know, this is really interesting. I, I'm still wondering what the, uh, what the catch here is. This feels a little too easy. 
Okay, this one I'm going to push over this way. I'm going to clear up this bomb so that the path can be uh, used so we can get to those bombs up there. And as for you, I'm going to push this up here. This feels like there are extra chips here. because There has to be more than five. There's one, two... Okay, maybe not. Three, four... Wait, there has to be another one, right? Uh-oh. There's got to be another chip here, right, guys? Unless there's one under a block. Oh, right there. Okay, good. <laughs> I was really worried. Okay, so can I push this and come around? I think so. This would be a very interesting level to optimize. I I must say, I, I don't know if this would be the best CCLP1 level, just because... Not that it's not beginner-friendly, but just because it's not as interesting of a block level as some of the other ones in this set. I mean, there's been some amazing block levels in this set, I, I gotta say. Okay, so now comes the slightly more tricky part of getting blocks into these spaces. So I suppose I had to go and blow this up. And then I can use all these blocks, so that won't be a problem. I can go around. Yeah, th I can just do this. So I guess the the trick is just finding out what path to take. That that makes it that makes it a little bit more tricky. Uh oh, wait a second. How do I get a block in here? Uh oh. Okay, this one is a little. Ooh. I don't know if we can do that. That I knew something like this was going to happen. Yeah, because I cannot get anything down this path from up there. And I can't get anything from the right to the left over here either. And I can't move anything up from here to this point unless... Yeah. There's no way... Arg. Okay, we're going to have to start over again. At least now I know which one is the, the problem one, and that's this... I guess this block has to be used on that bomb. So let's do that first. Let's use this block and we'll push it down over there. Other than that, I don't remember any other issues. I So maybe that was the secret. We have to just push this block there. And so let's see here. I don't think there were any other problems, because this one could easily go here. See, most of these you can access from any direction, it seems like. I, I say it seems like it. I, maybe there's another one that I'm just missing. But yeah, this, this level is pretty cool, I gotta say. I, I really like the idea a lot. Let me just push you into a corner. There we go. And, so oh, why not? We'll just push you there. We'll save some time. This one... Yeah, this is another one that you have to absolutely push here, because I don't see any way you could get to this from anywhere else, unless... Well, no, you can get to it from up there, right? So can you get to this from anywhere else? It's so like, if I pushed blocks from over here, up here, to over here... Yeah, okay, good, I can. That's nice. Had me going there for a minute. Oh, wait, did I... Uh-oh. Uh... I hope I just didn't ruin this. Uh-oh. I think I may have ruined it. There's no turnaround for a... B yeah. Okay. Yeah, I totally ruined this level. Okay. Start over again. I'm sorry about this, everybody. Okay. Let's be smart about this. Let's push this this way. 
Let me clear out that bottom area, because that's kind of a little hairy. Okay, so how do we get... Okay, we have to just go down here. Okay. Simple enough, I was just making it complicated. So, let me just go ahead and open up the path. Push that there. Now we can go around and loop when we ever, whenever we need to. See, all in all, this level is not all that long either. I mean, you just have to push the blocks into these bombs. It's just a matter of which blocks it push into which bombs. That's the thing. And I suppose this could have been way more evil than it is. I mean, there could have been more twists where you had to push a certain block into a certain bomb, but I'm glad there's only one. At least it seems like there's only one. So I, I really appreciate that. That's That was really nice. Also, the time limit, 5.12. That, that was an unusual time limit. I guess this is the uh, scoundrel of this set, so you could say. Okay, so you go up here, right? I can go... Yeah, okay, I can go down that way. Let me clear out this bomb first. I, I do like that there are certain areas where you have to clear out bombs first before other bombs. Like, that's a, that's a little bit less evil than using a certain block on a certain bomb. So, that I, I can appreciate. So, for here, we can do that. Let's try that out. Okay, how do we get to that one? I guess we can go f come from below on that. Oops. Wait a minute. How do we get past this? Can we get b both of those out of there? This is interesting. How can we do that? I don't know if we can get both of them out. Hmm... Can we? I don't think we can. Let me just push the other ones first and just see how many we have left over. That's another thing. I'm wondering if there are extras here. Because there are three here, and there's like w two more there, and then there's like at least one that we can get out there, and another one. So, are there extra blocks? Because that would be nice. Maybe some of them we can't use, because I don't see how we can extract these anywhere. Yeah, I don't know if we can use those. These ones we can use over here. So maybe those blocks had to be used somewhere else too, or maybe... Uh-oh. Oh, please don't tell me I had to blow that up earlier too. Oh wait, good, we can just go... Duh, okay. Phew, that was a close one. I was really worried about that. Okay. Now, there's three left. We got at least three blocks that we can use. These two and then that other one in the right side area. Okay. Let me try... Okay, first thing I want to do is... Is there a certain path that this one absolutely must follow? Like, if I were to push this, like... Wait, can I push that anywhere? Wait a sec. I don't know if I actually can push either of them anywhere, because... Yeah, can I? I don't think I can use either one of those. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that answers that question. So that means I can't use any of these, and that means that... Oh, no. No, <laughs> I'm stuck again. Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. Because one of them is already in place there, and that leads to another chip. Okay. I think we're good. I, I th Wait. So there's two over there, there's just this over here, and then the... the okay. Okay, good. I, I, I think we're okay. I, I think we're good. I don't think there's any issues. Okay, so I have to go... Well, first I have to destroy that, and then I can go up there. So let's destroy that. Boom. Okay, good. 
Now let's get the last one. Yay. Okay, I was getting really concerned there for a minute. I forgot we still had that block that we kept in place back over there. See, I'm not exactly sure what to think of this level. This, this is really interesting. It's an interesting concept. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, um, there's another level that was like this. I forgot what it was called, though. I wanted to say it was uh, investment from CCLP3, but it's not exactly like that. Okay, so do we have to find the exit under one of these? There we go. Alright, block secret is done. That was fun. Burning Bridges. Looks like another long block pushing level, so I think we'll take this one on in the next video. So, see you then.